Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening ceremony of 2018-2019 Korea University International Winner Campus. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Roy Im. I'm the Associate Director of this program and MC of the today's ceremony. First of all, I have to make an apology for not accommodating all the participants in this room as the enrollment got increased beyond our expectation, which is a good thing, by the way. Uh, we couldn't find a better place for this ceremony this year. But thank God we got YouTube. <laughs> so other students on the first floor will enjoy this ceremony um, on YouTube live. Hello, 106, 107, 108. Can you hear me? If you have any question, you need to come up to the fourth floor. <laughs> okay, now I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today in this cold weather, minus, 20, uh, minus 12 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> uh, I feel kind of bad for students from warm countries like Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia, India. Uh, <clears throat> And I also feel bad for Australian students who had been enjoying their summer <laughs> until yesterday. <laughs> but that's the whole point of the study abroad experience, right? Enjoy the different world, okay? Okay, now let's start this ceremony by introducing everyone who joined us today. To begin with, please welcome the Dean of Korea University International Winner Campus, Professor Sonia Kim. <laughs> Next, I would like to introduce uh, all the professors one by one. First, uh, Professor Ji Hoon Park from Korea University, <laughs> Mass Media and Popular Culture in Korea. <laughs> Professor Ha Jun Young from Hanguk University of uh, Foreign Studies. <laughs> Macro, uh, he will be teaching macroeconomics. Professor Mark Davison from King's College London. <laughs> Professor Edward Monsworth from California State University, LA. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Lin Che from Australian National University. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Chong Yun So from Korea University. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Che Eun Soo from Seoul National University. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, we have Professor Yong Jin Yoon from KAIST. And next, could I ask all I IWC team members and student assistants to stand up, please? Yeah, wave your hands to the students. Yeah, team members. <clears throat> they will be spending the next three to five weeks with you to provide you with assistance and support. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big round of applause. <clears throat> Last but not least, we have 740 IWC students from 88 universities from 19 different countries here with us today. Let's give each other a big round of applause. <clears throat> it's been three years we started this program, and in 2016, we had 222 students. Last year, we had 452 53 students, and this year we have 740 students. Thank you for choosing your winter destination to Korea University. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> and now I would like to invite Professor Sonia Kim to the stage for a welcome speech. Good morning, <clears throat> professors, students, uh, staff, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sun Hyo Kim and I'm the Vice President for International Affairs here at Korea University. It is my great pleasure uh, to welcome all of you uh, to 2018-2019 Korea University uh, International Winter Campus. The winter never starts in Korea until we start uh, winter campus because we had unusually uh, warm weather until I think the day before yesterday. 
and now we have minus 12, and winter genuinely starts now. Celebrating its uh, third anniversary, uh, KU International Winter Campus offers a world-class compressed semester program, as well as a valuable internship program, enabling students to gain real-life work experiences. In addition to course credits uh, that are transferable uh, to your respective home institutions. As Roy just mentioned, we successfully launched our first KU International Winter Campus two years ago with only 222 students. The enrollment rapidly grew into 453 students last year. And as a result of continuous efforts to meet student demands and expectations on our side, uh, 2018 and 19 uh, KU International Winter Campus now welcomes uh, 780 students from 38 different countries. This number represents the largest program of its kind, not only in Korea, but, but in Asia. This year, we are also joined by uh, 23 prominent and renowned professors from top universities around the world. Apart from your coursework, KU International Winter Campus provides you with opportunities to interact with other students from all over the world. Uh, through numerous cultural experiences, we hope that you will be able to make uh, the most of your time in Korea by experiencing Korean culture firsthand and also developing lasting friendships with your fellow students. Over the past 15 years, we have hosted the most popular and innovative summer program in Asia as well. We are now hoping to leverage uh, this success by making our International Winter Campus program as well received and prominent as well. Putting the greatest emphasis on the quality of student experiences, both academically and socially, we know that you will have an amazing experience and we hope uh, with us this winter. We are also eager to learn from your experience at Korea University to make the program better. Please give us feedback on your experience over the next three to, uh, three to five weeks. Your feedback will be highly appreciated and will help us to enhance our ability uh, to support our students in the future. Again, I encourage you to make great memories with your professors and fellow students. The International Winter Campus staff at uh, Korea University will do our best to provide you with any assistance and support you may need. Study hard, keep warm because it's very cold, explore your new surroundings, and most of all, enjoy your time at Korea University and in Korea. I look forward to seeing you again and hearing about your international winter campus experiences. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Kim. Now, as the representative of the faculty members, I would like to invite Professor Lin Choi to come up to the stage to also give a welcome remarks. Professor Gu Choi is currently teaching at Australian National University in IWC. He will be teaching international business in English and in Chinese. Please welcome Professor Lin Choi with a big hand. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Choi Lin, or Lin Choi, whichever way you, you want to call me. Um, I'm one of the international faculties here at uh, IWC. Um, I have been involved in IWC teaching since last year, so this is my second run. I have also been uh, teaching at the, the summer campus uh, since 2014. Uh, so when I was asked to give a welcome uh, speech, I thought that I should reflect on my experience, uh, make some observations, and uh, provide a couple of, offer a couple of uh, suggestions for you guys. So uh, two observations. The first observation is that you are joining a very high quality condensed semester program. Um, as Dean Kim just mentioned that the program is the largest of its kind in Asia and probably in this region, um, also globally. Um, the gross number has been truly exceptional uh, considering that we are only now the third year running this and we have been growing so fast. But I think it's not only the size, but also the quality of the program uh, that has contributed to its increasing global recognition. Uh, it's a program with a condensed schedule, but we make no compromise on the contents and the delivery of the courses. Um, so I think the great leadership 
uh, the professional organization team, and the quality of the courses, this all jointly contributed to the program's uh, increasing recognition around the world. Um, so that was my first observation. The second is about you, the cohort, the student cohort. Uh, we know that you are from very diverse cultural and academic background. But I think the majority of you have something in common. Right? That, that is you are all sort of self-motivated, highly disciplined individuals. Right? I say this because there is a huge opportunity cost for you to, uh, to take the, the, uh, the, the winter campus here to participate in this program because obviously this is the holiday season and this is a time which you could otherwise be spending with your family, with friends, you know, taking a rest, earning money, but instead you come here, you face the challenge of a very intensive learning uh, journey. So this is quite impressive. Um, I continue to be impressed by the self-motivation, discipline and the diligence of uh, the IWC students and I think you have the right mentality and attitude uh, to achieve your learning objectives. Um, so following these observations, I'd like to offer some uh, suggestions. The first suggestion is an uh, academic suggestion, which uh, may sound somewhat uh, generic, but I think is particularly relevant uh, for this kind of intensive course. Um, and that is to take ownership of, of your learning. Uh, we have well-designed program here, carefully selected courses and faculties, and a very professional admin team. But the person who is ultimately responsible for your, your learning is yourself, right? Your pro professors may be uh, knowledgeable in their uh, respective uh, expertise, do domain of expertise. Um, we are great, so we are important source of your learning, but we are not the only source of your learning, right? In fact, in this information age, access to knowledge has been increasingly uh, easier and cheaper. So what matters most is your ability to utilize these different learning sources, right? You can learn from textbook, you can reading materials, also importantly from each other through team project, group works. Um, so by taking ownership of your learning, I mean that you should have a proactive attitude to learning instead of a reactive, also respect each other's opinion, yet always be free to form your own opinion and challenge others as long as uh, you, you have uh, strong evidence and good reasoning uh, uh, behind that. So how much value you get from the IWC courses really depends on how much you decide to engage in this learning process and take ownership of it. Right? The second uh, suggestion is for those of you who are new to Seoul and Korea overall, and that is an obvious suggestion, uh, explore beyond the uh, Korean University campus. We have a beautiful campus, but there, there is more to experience here in Seoul. Seoul is probably one of the most globalized uh, and culturally accommodating cities in the, in the world. Um, yet it is also able to preserve its uh, own history and the traditional cultures, uh, cultures so well. So whatever uh, type of things you're enjoying, I think you can always find something new, something unique and exciting here in Seoul. Uh, and there may be many ways to enjoy Seoul, but since you are personally here, uh, my recommendation is to actually interact with these people, right? The weather is cold, but Korean people is generally warm-hearted, very friendly. Um, I think you will not regret to know a few of them. So in conclusion, my suggestions are actually quite obvious. Study hard, play hard, make friends, make memories, and also, you know, keep warm. Um, so that's basically it. Um, on behalf of my uh, fellow faculties here, I welcome you to IWC and we look forward to working with you for the following few weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Choi. Um, now we have the student, IWC student representative, uh, Ms. Hilary Ya, to give a short welcome speech. Uh, Ms. Hilary Ya is from Singapore Institute of Management and along with her close friend, Amelia, over there, she is now attending uh, Korea University International Winter Campus Program for the three times every year since we uh, start this program. Uh, let's invite her on the stage uh, and hear about her motivation to come to Korea University, uh, KUIWC again. Everyone, please welcome Ms. Hilary Yeo. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Hilary. 
So my first overseas exchange I heard from Mr. M is back in 2016 as um, the very first batch of Pioneer students. I was one of the 200 students here. So um, as the first batch of students to embark on this learning journey, I've been studying in Singapore my whole life. So 25 years in Singapore. So back then I wasn't really sure if I was ready to step out of my comfort zone to embark on this journey. A lot of what ifs popped up in my mind. So what if I can't adapt to the weather? What if I can't speak the language? What if I get lost? So there's a lot of what ifs. But all my doubts were thrown away when I stepped into Korea University. The student leaders, facilitators, and professors were very welcoming and it made me feel like home. I really enjoyed my time in Korea University despite being here for only three weeks. So I didn't really, you know, I didn't really join session two, so I'm not sure. So good luck to those in session two. So I've created countless of memories here, like my very first snowball fight or skiing. In sunny Singapore, you don't get a lot of chances of seeing snow. So if you want to see snow, you really have to pay like Snow City and all. So imagine my excitement when I saw the ground covered in white. I came back again for KUISC 2017, and it was as if that three weeks worth of memories weren't enough. I wanted more. So my mom had really asked me if I really loved this place so much. So I only replied her, I felt like leaving home for home. Coming back to Korean University this time around, it felt more like reminiscing memories instead, where everything started. How Korea University came from what I know as one of the most prestigious universities in Korea came to be my second home. Because of the facilitators and student leaders, it felt like home here. It's my home, my second home, and I want to relive the memories of how everything began. What I've learned is that memories are more important than material items. It's not often you get to travel around, be an exchange student, and make new friends. I want to make memories and get off my comfort zone. I'm in a different country that speaks a different language. No one knows you here. Do something fun. You can earn back material items, but you can never earn back a lost memory. Make new friends. This program has students from all over the world coming together and have classes. Make new friends and create new bonds. To all the students of KUIWC 2018, I hope you enjoyed this winter campus as much as I did. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the wonderful speech. Um, Hillary, uh, can you uh, wait for a sec? Uh, can you? Yeah. Stand over there for a sec. Uh, and Amelia, can we uh, invite you to the stage too? Wayo, wayo. Katsi wayo. Since you love Korea uh, University so much, uh, our dean prepared a little gift for you. It's BTS CD album. If you come next year again, I'll give you the signed city, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is the end of the opening ceremony. Before we close the opening ceremony, uh, we'll take a, a stage photo for press release. So everyone, please remain seated and wave your hands with a big smile um, to the photographer. Okay, inside your uh, a bag, uh, we put a little sticker um, with our main, uh, main building and uh, our mascot, Tiger. Uh, why don't we take picture with these two stickers on your hand?
Okay, ready? Like this. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> he will keep taking photo until uh, he is satisfied. So, <laughs> smile. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll share this photo on our Instagram channel. So follow us uh, on our S SNS. Um, for students, uh, please remain seated for the upcoming orientation event. And for professors, please find your way uh, to, our, to your office and faculty support center. Uh, you may now prepare for your class and students will be down there by 10.30. Mm -hmm. Now we got some empty seats uh, in the first row. So students on the stairs, yeah, yeah. find your uh, seats. Yeah, guys, you may sit in front, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, we will have the student orientation. Uh, first, uh, we will have Ms. Jungmin No from um, Center for Gender Equality. <laughs> and she will talk about its role and effort for the prevention of sexual harassment and or abuse on campus. Let's welcome Ms. Snow with a round of applause. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Hi, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you all students attending this orientation. Welcome to your Korea University. This is my pleasure to be here today and nice to meet you. My name is Chongmin No. I'm a psychologist and counselor and working at the Center for Gender Equality since 2004. Well, it's quite a long time. It's over a decade. But every time when I see new faces, I'm so excited and well, Last year, I couldn't sleep so well because I was very much excited for today. I am finally here. And today, I'm here to introduce you our center where I'm working. And I want you to know about our school regulation governing gender equality at Korea University. Mm, this is the, today's our, uh, order of orientation. First of all, I will tell you about our school regulation according about the code of conduct gender policy according to our school regulation. And then I will show you a short video clips about the definition of sexual harassment and sexual violation, violence, uh, and sexual abuse. After that, I will inform you about the Center for Gender Equity equality where you can get appropriate support. Korea University has a code of conduct gender policy. Uh, the, code of gen the code principle is Korea University does not discriminate against the student, faculty, or staff based on sex or sexual orientation in, in any of its programs or activities, including but not limited to educational programs, employment, and admission. Korea University also complies with regulation that protect individuals from discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, as well as on the basis of gender identity. All students, faculty, and staff at Korea University should ensure women and men have equal rights and development opportunities at the university. Here are our code of conduct gender policy. The policy number one, the interest of both genders must be optimally served at all levels and in all functions. This includes equal representation as well as due consideration of any specific gender interest in or working context. The policy number two, nobody may suffer negative consequences due to their sex, gender identity, or gender transition. 
The Code of Conduct Gender Policy Number Three: Each individual's dignity and integrity must be respected. Sexual and gender-based harassment and discrimination are violations of human dignity. The Code of Conduct Gender Policy Number Four. At the university, written and spoken language should express equal treatment of women and men while maintaining precision and elegance. I, I, here now, I want to uh, show you a short video clips because Korea University has a set of regulations to ensure protection against sexual harassment and sexual violence. These uh, short video clips helps us to understand uh, to in understand more uh, about the definition of those two terms. So please uh, start the video clips. Before. Here. Yes. Harassment refers to any action that takes place in a work, employment, or academic setting in which a person takes advantage of his or her status to use sexual words or actions that make the addressee feel disgusted or sexual humiliation. Punishing or causing disadvantages when the addressee refuses to follow such sexual actions or requests also falls under sexual harassment. Therefore, sexual harassment is not simply sexual mocking but a sexual tormenting or insult that reflects the relevant people's relation of power. According to the Enforcement Decree of Act on Equal Employment and Support for Work-Family Reconciliation, sexual harassment can be categorized into physical sexual harassment, such as suddenly hugging someone from behind or touching certain body parts, verbal sexual harassment, such as lewd jokes or sexual metaphors concerning one's appearance, or pressuring someone to pour a drink during office dinners, visual sexual harassment, such as displaying pornographic photographs or pictures, or purposefully exposing or touching certain body parts, and other sexual words and actions, which according to social norms, cause disgust or sexual humiliation. Sexual violence is any action in which one takes advantage of the difference in strength to infringe upon another's sexual self-determination against the other's will. The concept encompasses not only rape, but also molestation and sexual harassment. From the viewpoint of sexual violence, not only physical violence or threats that demand sexual relations, but also sexual advances or attempts, psychological abuse, and verbal insults also apply as sexual violence. The law regulates only genital-oriented crimes accompanied by violence or threats, such as rape or indecent assault, as sexual violence crimes. But such sexual violence crimes, according to the law and sexual violence, must be carefully distinguished. Sexual violence must be understood to widely include both psychological and physical violence, because the kind of sexual violence that most frequently takes place within the university is not sexual violence crimes, but sexual harassment. Okay, these regulations are based on the fundamental assumption that all students, faculty, and staff should treat each other with respect. This does not mean that interpersonal relations should be purely impersonal, distanced, and formal. On the contrary, friendly and relaxed personal interaction also between women and men is and should be a normal part of everyday life at the university. Nevertheless, the regulations stipulate definitely that sexual harassment and discrimination are prohibited and will not be tolerated at the Korea University. What shall we do if we feel sexually humiliated or offended with the sexual charged behaviors? Maybe someone might think, should I just ignore it? Or am I too much sensitive or overreacting? Even someone could think like, what should I do if I get disadvantages or whatever? 
But those kinds of thinking led perpetrators of the sexual abuse free. You know, oh, that's why we better face and say, you know, what we think and what we don't want. So clearly state how I feel and demand to stop the action and discuss with uh, this, the Center for Gender Equality where I'm working. Sexual assault can happen to anyone. Anyone initiating any kind of sexual contact with another person must seek consent and not engage in the sexual contact unless consent is given. According to our school regulation, consent means informed, freely given agreement communicated by clearly understandable words or actions to participate in each form of sexual activity. Consent cannot be inferred from silence, passivity, or lack of active resistance. Importantly, intoxication is not an excuse for failure to obtain consent. And a person who is not able uh, to say no or yes, with, whether uh, by alcohol or drugs or otherwise, is incapable of giving consent. For more information on consent and incap incapacitation, please contact the Center for Gender Equality. At the university, sexual assault policy makes clear sexual misconduct of any kind is inconsistent with the university's values and incompatible with the safe, healthy environment that the Korea University community expects. All members of this community share the responsibility for creating and maintaining an environment which promotes the safety and dignity of each individual. On college campuses, perpetrators are more likely to assert an acquaintance than a stranger. Please be aware of your own safety and watching out for your friends are important steps you can take to reduce the ris risk of sexual assault. Perpetrator, not the survivor, is responsible for any instance of sexual assault. Nothing a survivor does or does not do is an excuse for sexual assault. Information about sexual assault prevention and sources of for survivors of sexual assault are available at the Center for Gender Equity. If a friend or person around you was the victim of sexual harassment, what would you do? That is a very important thing. From a third party position, when a friend or upper or underclassman or a student has experienced the sexual harassment and is troubled by it, do first, please, uh, please do first, support the victim psychologically. And then please do sec uh, second, do not try to solve the problems yourself by excessive actions. These kinds of interruption could make the situation more worse. You better try to uh, report it to or seek counsel from an on-campus professional counseling center like where I'm working, the Center for Gender Equity. Korea University has a Center for Gender Equality and we are doing mostly the counseling services and preventing education like today, and we have to solve the problems when something happened. Here is, uh, I, here is the slide shows what we are working. So I made a little bit noise because it's time to a little bit sleep. That's why I want to wake you up. So I hope I, I you know, this, could help you a little bit make fresh. We provide educational programs and activities like today, as I say. We receive and process reports. If something bad happens and take, you know, just take a contact with us and could also, we could process the reports. And we provide the supportive counseling services and sometimes we also collaboration with the other organizations like hospitals or law enforcement as well. The Korea University has, uh, the, the Center for Gender uh, Equity has a 
home pages. This is the first, you know, main site, uh, the uh, slide of this our home page. But this is not in English. But what I want to say is one thing. In the middle, there is a small round. This get bigger and smaller. You know, when you see the slide the, the, in the computer, then this in the middle, there's now you see the small slide, it's small round, the menu, but this gets bigger and smaller, it, it clings. If you click in and go in there, the, you can leave a message. As soon as we check this message, then we can contact you directly. So if something happens or when you want to talk with us or something you have to know about our regul school regulation or whatever, when you have questions, just use this menu. This is very effective and it very, goes very fast. You can contact us when you simply need information about school regulation, books, and questions related with gender. And you also can contact us when you need counseling, have concerns, need help, or dealing after effects as well. And also you can contact us when you want to report a case, the complain, uh, complainant him or herself, or third parties, or representatives as well. Our location is on the map in the little small uh, red square. There is a Dongwon Global Leadership Hall which is just behind of this main building. Our Korea University has main building and just behind of this main building, there is small building, Dongwon Global Leadership Hall, I say again. And the first floor, we are located. The telephone number and email address and website URL and the location is on the slide. But one thing to keep is my email address. The ID is just helper. It's very easy to keep, helper at korea.ac.kr. So during your stay here at Korea University, any kind of question and everything is very welcome. Don't hesitate to contact us. And now I think it's all what I prepared for today. And have a good time in winter. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Ms. Snow. Now let me invite um, Ms. Sue Kang, uh, the program manager of KUIWC. She will tell you the details of our programs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Sue Kang with a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Um, well, about two years ago, I recall only half of the rooms were um, occupied, but now the size is immense right now. Very, um, very overwhelming. So um, um, I bet you had a long way trip from your home to um, the familiar, unfamiliar country. So I hope you have most of your stay in Korea. And uh, from now on, I'll touch uh, the IWC program details and also about campus life, about on-campus housing, cafeteria activities, and also we'll introduce a slight touch about um, our international summer campus program. Academics. So this is uh, academic calendar. So today we have an orientation here, and you can check your class period and location on your Blackboard account. Also, um, those who uh, enroll for Korean language placement test, um, you have to take this test, uh, which will be held in here uh, at 4 p.m. So even though you don't know any single Korean word, you need to come to this building, uh, to this hall, and take the test. Alrighty. And student card ID card pickup will be available after this orientation at the first floor of LG Postco building. So even though you cannot make it on uh, 11, p uh, 11 a.m., it's totally okay. You can just come by after your class. Um, just try to pick it as um, in today, all right? And uh, tomorrow is the deadline for course add and drop. Uh, you can do it uh, when you come to Student Support Center 101 in this building. It will help you out to co uh, add your course or drop your courses. Okay. And uh, last day to check your grades uh, blackboard is will be uh, January 25th, Friday. 
and um, class information. Um, our classes will be held at three different buildings here at LG Posco building and Hyundai Model Hall, right, which is right next to this building, and New Law building. Uh, three Korean classes will be held at New Law building, right? And if you cannot find our buildings, our student assistant will help you to uh, look for the way. So um, don't worry. And uh, you can find the course timetable. I don't. Uh, I can't believe uh, you can find it, but no worries. Uh, you can find it on the, uh, on your uh, Blackboard account also. Okay. You can find IWC information, and you can find this course timetable on there. Okay. And need assistance. Um, we have three different offices on the first uh, floor of this building. So um, I think you need to go to, uh, if you have any um, emergency or uh, student related issue, you can come to Student Support Center 101. And those who receive D28 short term visa, you need to check your uh, visa uh, that you um, uh, uh, issued this uh, D28 short term visa by January 2nd, Wednesday. And you can find uh, Ms. Minchi Park. Uh, she's the one who issued all the uh, D2Y short-term visa, so please uh, find her and uh, try to confirm your visa check, okay? And textbook information. Uh, you can make copies at Copy Nara, where the uh, copy center is. So step one, you can come to the student support center. And um, step two, you can fill out a photocopy slip as shown on the left picture. You can, uh, uh, you can write your name, uh, the date, and the code, and the page number of the textbooks. Okay? And then step three, you can take the slip to the copy center located in the main library. Okay, where's the main library is? So when you go to the third uh, floor of this building, when you go out, you'll see this, uh, this beautiful Gothic style um, library building. And this is the main library, and Copy Nara is located on the first floor of uh, this building. And as I um, mentioned earlier, a uh, Korean language placement test will be held here uh, today from 4 to 6 p.m. And test results will be released by 8 a.m. tomorrow. So you can check uh, your upgraded, um, well, your class might be changed or stay in the same, but you need to check your um, course uh, information by 8 a.m. tomorrow on your Blackboard account and timetable will be changed. Also, uh, you can find the updated course list on your um, Blackboard account, okay? And Blackboard, um, is the, you can find the, the address of Blackboard, uh, is a website that uh, our professor will upload course materials, assignments, and you can do discussions, and also you can find your test results on the Blackboard website. How do you log into Blackboard? Uh, you need to type in kulms.korea.ac.kr, and you need to click the second bullet in red box when you proceed to log in, not the first one, okay? And the ID will be your application number starting with 2018-95, and your date of birth, um, and you can change your um, password after you first log in to the Blackboard. So this will be the first page when you log in. So you can change your personal information, change password, and also change personal settings. You can change um, language settings or whatever you want uh, in this personal information page. And uh, when you click uh, your course name, uh, you can find my instructor announcement and uh, assignments and grade activity and also your grades. And when you go to IWC institution, uh, you can find my organizations and you can find the community tab. And in here, we'll, uh, we'll update a very uh, updated um, announcements regarding timetable, um, shuttle bus schedule, or activity-wise, we're going to upload all the schedule on the announcements, so daily check-up needed. Right, and uh, you can use Blackboard and mobile too. You can uh, download from App Store or Google Play Store uh, st uh, stating Blackboard, and then you can find this um, little pencil thingy icon there. And you find an uh, institution named Korea University. And then please try to um, make, uh, send your notification to allow it, because we need to uh, up make announcements so you can uh, check it as, as much as, uh, as possible, as soon as possible. 
and course edit drop. Uh, edit drop will be uh, available for you until December 28th, this Friday, which is tomorrow, 5 p.m. You can visit Student Support Center, or if you cannot make it, uh, you can just call us or email us by 5 p.m. Uh, if you want to add your add or drop your courses. Okay, and um, if you add your course, you need to complete your extra payment for the fees by January 2nd. And also, um, if you drop your class, the refund will be available for you. So we'll send you out the refund form, and then you can fill it out, and we can send it back to us. And then the, the whole procedure will take about three to four weeks. And transcript, uh, you can find a sample of transcript on the left side. And transcript will be delivered to your um, address. I believe you uh, write down, you wrote down the transcript address when you submit your online application. So it will be delivered in mid-February. Uh, and then if you need to change your transcript address, please come to the stu uh, Student Support Center or email us by January 4th so we can uh, adjust your uh, um, transcript address for you. So that was pretty much about the academic. And uh, let me go on to campus life. Uh, lots of people ask about Wi-Fi working. So in this building, Wi-Fi works. So how you can do? You can select the wi uh, wireless network, Korea University AP. And then you can type in username password with the same thing, 2018 winter, 2018 winter. Okay. And then, yeah, everything good. And uh, yeah, if you have any problem, please come to Student Support Center. We can help you out. And also shuttle bus. Uh, shuttle buses operate from 8.20 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Monday through to Friday. So please check your um, schedule. And please note that um, uh, shuttle bus schedule will be um, uh, subject to um, change, like under the weather condition or traffic. Okay. And after you're getting student ID card, you can access to any uh, um, school library and study area in Korea University and housing, and I bet uh, lots of students are staying in our own campus housing. There, uh, there's something I need to make uh, notices. So um, some people asked me uh, yesterday, is there a curfew in uh, KU on campus? No, <laughs> there's no curfew in w winter housing. But um, try to uh, have your key all the way, uh, all, all the time with you. And um, if you lost your key, you need to proceed to the RA in the lobby to, uh, to get a new um, key card, okay? And how can I use a cafeteria? You may purchase a meal plan in cash or credit card at the cafeteria office. Uh, if you don't have any information about cafeteria, you can come to Student Support Center and we'll help you out too. And can I control the heater? Yes, you can. But um, yesterday, I remember that um, somebody said uh, it's too hot or too cold. So uh, if you have the such um, uh, problem, please ask RA also in the lobby of your residence hall. So he or she will ask our housing manage, uh, maintenance team to take care of the problems, right? And if you need extra bl blankets, um, please come to the, stu uh, to the RA too, and then we'll uh, give you out the extra blankets for you. And policies. I know this is a boring part, but I need to read it out, okay? So, all residents must behave in accordance with the residence hall contract. You cannot change your rooms without the approval from the IWC office. You cannot let any non-residents, including family, in the residence halls. Um, only the same gender guests are permitted in the residence hall's rooms. And smoking or drinking or alcohol is prohibited in all university residence halls. Okay. And need help? You can first report to the uh, residence uh, assistance of each residence hall for any help. And if your problem is a real emergency, please report to the security guard and one of our IW staff, uh, Mr. Im or I, will assist you accordingly. All right? Okay. And if you are looking for a place to work out in the campus other than uh, CJ uh, residents, uh, there is a Hwajong Gym, uh, aka Tiger Dome. Uh, it uh, operates on um, weekdays and also weekends. And the cost will be 40,000 Korean won. Um, if you are interested in doing, um, uh, in joining this KU Gym equipment, you can come to the st uh, Student Support Center and we'll help you out to um, make, uh, 
fill in the application and send the wire transfer for you. Okay. And um, this is just a small tip for you. If you are seeking for uh, like restaurants near a campus, you can, uh, I just Google it. So uh, there is 25 places to eat around Korea University. And um, this Gorun Hesa, which is Korean uh, street food, is, this is the best um, accommodation among our KU students. So please um, try this um, um, yeah, street food um, restaurant, it's really good. And surroundings, uh, there is in our campus, uh, you can go to the basement um, shopping area. Uh, it's connected to LG Posco building. When you follow, uh, when you go out to the uh, student support center and you uh, follow the road, you'll find the escalator and then it will connect to the basement shopping area. And you can find some snack stores and also cafe and stationery stores. So please enjoy that. And also off campus, uh, if you are seeking to go to like a Walmart or uh, Costco, uh, we call it a uh, home plus in Korea. You can take a subway line number six and um, only two subway stations away, I believe. You can get off at a work station and you can buy a lot of stuff in home plus. All right. So yeah. This will be my uh, end of my presentation. Um, I will pass my microphone to our IWC intern, Miss Minji Park, and she will cover the cultural excursions and also Instagram awards. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Minji, like kimchi. So everyone must know kimchi, right? So just replace the K with M. So if you need any help, I'm here for you. Any food recommendations, things to do in Seoul, we're here. So just come to 101 office and you can find me. Um, I'm very excited because I got the most interesting part of the presentation. I'm going to talk about the field trips and the culture excursions. Now today we're going to be posting the, top, uh, the first three field trips and excursions in our website. And you can find all the information in our official site, winterkoreaac.kr. And in the extra information tab, you will see a news and notice. And I will be posting the first three Google links surveys and you can sign up. There are certain excursions that are closed. Uh, some, some excursions have a limit number, so it's a first come, first serve. It's very strict, so I cannot, like if you registered first and you want your friend to register, but she didn't, she or he did not register on time, sorry, but we will be respecting the quota. Um, we also have certain excursions where you will need to pay extra money, and we will be announcing how you need to pay, and obviously you need to come to our office for more information. So these are all our not all, but all um, our field trips and excursions, as you might have known in our uh, presentation in our brochures of our program. And one thing that we're missing here is the dance class, which is a very exciting thing of this year. We've been collaborating with a dance studio in Anam area. It's called From Zero. I think you guys all received the email. Um, they're teaching us, they're professional dancers and they're teaching us K-pop dance lessons. So be updated for that dance class on January 3rd, which is next week. Yeah, we can find all the information in our website, so you don't have to take pictures now. Now, this is very, very important. Uh, any penalty for no-shows is, if there is an unexcused no-show, you will be penalized, and it you will become ineligible for one subse subsequent field trip. Now, moving on to the Instagram event, uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys use social media and specifically Instagram. So we are conducting three Instagram events throughout our IWC. Um, and it will be divided into three sections, which are tag your friend, top three, and hashtag 2000 KUIWC. And I will be explaining one by one because it's a bit tricky. Um, so the first, uh, so all three events will be announced and opened on like from today, but the first event, Tag Your Friend, will finish in week one. So uh, we will be announcing the winner on January 5th, 
Saturday, which is this Saturday. Uh, it is the, uh, you simply need to follow us on Instagram, which is at uh, kuisc.iwc. And you need to tag your friend who is not participating this year's IWC, but will possibly be interested in participating next year. And a tip that we want to give you is that if you, if the tag friend also ends up following our Instagram account, then you have higher chances of winning. And the more friends you tag, the higher chances of winning. So everyone understands this? Okay. Uh, the second event is hashtag KUIWC 2018. And we want to hear what was your favorite moments or uh, which coffee shops you want to recommend to your other friends, uh, which top places you want to recommend to other IWC members. So ba uh, basically you post three pictures, for example, in the example here, uh, she posted top three things to do in Seoul. And you need to tag our account, again, KUISC.IWC, and, and use three hashtags, KUIWC, Winter in Korea, Korea University, and then we'll be announcing the winner of this event on the 12th of January, Saturday. I know it's very complicated. I'll be posting all the guidelines again in our Facebook, so don't worry. Um, and our last event is uh, hashtag 2018 KUIWC. And this is the same as last year and two years ago, where you just post the most memorable moments during your IWC, and you just have to use the hashtag 2018 KUIWC. And the more posts you upload, obviously, with the hashtag, the higher chances of you winning. And, then, and the winner of this event will be announced on January 16th, Wednesday. These are the prices of our Instagram events. Your tag your friend will be giving two hoodies, so you can bring back that one hoodie uh, of like you giving to the friends that you tagged. Uh, the top three winner will be getting a Cacao Friends stuffed toy, and the hashtag 2018 uh, KUIWC winner will be winning a Cacao Friends Mini C speaker, which is a Bluetooth speaker, recognizes your voice, and it's really cute. Uh, again, um, oh, so the first two events, we'll be announcing the winners in a random pick. So randomly generating, putting, we're putting all the participants into a random generator, and we will be post, posting all the winners through our Instagram story, so you guys can check that we're not um, manipulating anything. It's uh, completely random. But the third one, we really want to pick the most relevant photo of our IWC program. So we will be doing an internal vote among all the staff members, and then show who won the best photo. Uh, here is our accounts for Instagram and Facebook. So if you guys want to take a picture now. <laughs> so yeah, um, just come to 101. Please wear warm clothes because if you guys get sick, we will be the one taking you to the hospital. So uh, wear a lot of like warm clothes around. Um, again, uh, restaurant, coffee shop recommendations, what to do in Seoul, we're here for you and have a great time. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Korea University. Um, remember me yesterday as CJ, I help you. Oh, I remember you, right? My name is Jin and I'm the summer program manager. Yes, Korea University hosts a summer program as well. Korea University International Summer Campus. We call it KUISC for sure. Well, it's actually the best summer program among its kind and I'm going to tell you why it's the best. Okay, KUISC is a credit-bearing summer program that's specially designed for international students, just like you, who wants to come to Korea for academic and also cultural learning. Basically, we provide one semester's workload condensed into six and four weeks of your summer months, which during you can take up to three courses, which will give you nine transferable credits. And of course, it's a summertime. You need a little bit of fun so you can um, participate all these complementary culture activity and volunteer activities. This past summer, 2018, we have completed another successful season with 1,800 students from 270 institutes in 50 different countries. 
As you can see right here, um, since it's established in 2004, it has been recognized worldwide, and it's a um, cultural melting pot. First reason all these students choose KUISC for their summer destination is courses that we provide. KUISC provides more than 100 course offerings that covers a wide range of subjects. If you look at right here, it's business, economy, science, engineering, and Korean studies, and we even provide six different levels of Korean language class. And all the courses, except for Korean language courses, are, of course, delivered in English and taught by world-class faculty members that we invite from prestigious universities around the world, such as um, Stanford and Cornell, Johns Hopkins, and etc. Basically, you will learn from these um, top scholars from all around the world, and you will be able to engage with them in KUISC. And we want you to explore your summer um, and Korea in and outside of classroom. That's why we provide this all different kinds of cultural activities. They are all complementary. There's a Korean cooking class, taekwondo class, and we will take you to the um, Nanta performance, and we will also take you to the baseball game so that you can watch a baseball game with some chimak. And, um, and of course, you have to join this amazing K-pop flash mob event. Um, you're gonna enjoy it with your all new friends. Okay, um, KUIC internship. This is something I wanna emphasize here, KUISC provides this exclusive internship opportunity only for its participants. So if you're looking for like working experience in Korea, this is something you should definitely consider. This, uh, for next year, we have about 80 positions available in various companies and institutions in Korea. So um, if you're interested in gaining working experience, I hope you could consider this option. It will definitely give you some resume credential and some more. Okay, since we don't have enough time to cover everything about the summer program, this is the easiest and also greatest way to find out more about KUIC. You can just simply go to Instagram and find hashtag K, uh, 2018 KUISC. It will just give you more than a thousand posts and you will see how much fun we had last summer and how much she, how much experience our last year participant this year participant enjoyed and how much they grow during their summer time. And of course, we have our WOPSHARE website. Please check out our website. It's summer.korea.ac.kr. I'm sure you all can remember this. It's quite easy. If you go to our website, you'll, you'll be able to get all the detailed information about the program, like application process, course information, faculty information, and culture activity schedule, and everything. So if you're interested in it, feel free to check out and you can even apply for KUISC at this website. Application for KUISC 2019 will open next week, January 2nd, and it will end May 15. However, if you apply by the end of February, you'll be able to enjoy the Oliver discount. And since um, since you guys are all here for the winter, you are eligible for the re enrollment benefit. So I hope you can you keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so this is it. I basically covered a very brief information about the summer program. So, well, they say every summer has its own story. So I hope you could make your own with KUISC. Thank you for listening. And I hope you have a great time here at K Korea University. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jean. Um, I know some of you uh, are planning to uh, go to uh, graduate school after finishing your undergraduate degree. So I, we invited uh, Ms. Hyunju Oh from graduate school. She will uh, introduce uh, KU graduate school admission system briefly. Hi. I'm glad to see you uh, in Korean University at the first day of IWC. 
Uh, also, I also appreciate it to have an, a great opportunity have a, for you a glimpse in graduate school in Korea University. So I have just allowed to five minutes to show a presentation, so yeah, I will hurry up. Um, actually, I prepared a brief introduction for you. Definitely, you are a prospective student in graduate school in KU, right? <laughs> so VKU graduate school has started since uh, 1949, so confronting 17th anniversary soon. Such a long history and international-based world university database, as you see in the front of the introduction, uh, starting the 86 um, QS, QS ranking says, um, why you have to be interested in the, us, graduate school in Korea University. Actually, international winter campus students uh, like you show how we graduate, gradually enlarge the academic and research field and the global aspect as well. So the gra graduate school in KU is covered with global students from um, about 98 countries. So, so that the about 40 and 45 percent of our courses definitely delivered by English. So um, actually KU ranked in Asia in 22 subject areas, ranked within the top 100 university by the QS subject rankings. Okay, as you see in the data. So our diversity in education and research is presented, presented um, 303 masters and 320 doctoral areas and in 104 departments in overall in Korea University. So very diverse. Uh, so uh, regarding detailed departments and majors, so considering your undergraduate succeeded, so you can find out the specific information at graduate school's website. Um, as you see, as you know, we are separated into two parts uh, in Seoul campus and Sejong campus, located in other, um, other location. So based on, on each colleges and different, different majors, each apart. So uh, you can see, you can find out also the information about that in, on, on our website. The website, um, our website is, is this the graduate2.korea.ace.kr. So the website gives the information about our graduate school's academic calendar and admission guidelines and the package for the registration and so on. Uh, so you can find out the, all the information which you can, um, you can ask. Then the soonest registration of our graduate school period will be during next year's March. So we, are, we have a two session, spring and the fourth semester in a, week, in a year. So we are recruiting students twice. So if you are interested in, you can find out the schedules. I think your most interesting part actually for the international students are we really, really the definitely scholarships. So uh, KU graduate school scholarships are widely open to all the outstanding like you to international students. So um, you can apply when you register and submit the application data um, at the same time. So you can apply the, the, the KU graduate school as well as the scholarship system. So we have uh, three kinds of um, lovely. So the Global Leader, Leader Fellowship covered with 100% and um, for the Natural Sciences and Engineering Scholarship for the 65% and the humanities and social science scholarships at 60%. So three kinds of from the KU graduate school. So uh, there is other, other scholarships also, so you can find out the more information on the website. So I think, um, <laughs> uh, so um, yes, this is our more information. So if you, you want to get the information during your period in the IWC, please contact us, the, great, uh, the website and phone call and the email as well. Okay, thank you for listening. So I look forward to you to see a fruitful and brilliant period for the IWC. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. O. Uh, right, this is the end of the orientation. Uh, before we close this session, uh, let me give you some important notice. 
Uh, inside your uh, packet, you can find our campus map. Can you please all take this out? Campus map. Like this. Okay, um, we're in building uh, 87, right bottom of the map, LG Postco Business Building. Third floor is the lobby of this building. So when you get out of this building, you need to go to the third floor. We are on the fourth floor right now, and on the third floor is the lobby. So when you get out of this building, go to the third floor, and our uh, student support center is located on the first floor of this building. And some of the courses are taught in Hyundai Motor Hall, which is number 77. Everyone found it? Number 77. Some of the courses are taught in Hyundai Motor Hall. And three Korean language courses will be taught in College of Law building, number 20. Number 20. Mm -hmm. And our copy center is located in the main library, which is 63. 63. Mm -hmm. I explained uh, all of this uh, because it's important, and the news reporter really wanted to take pictures um, of you guys looking at the campus map. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't actually uh, satisfied with the sticker thingy before, so uh, we have to do this. <laughs> okay, now important notice. For those who take Korean language courses, raise your hand. Korean language courses. Okay, no class today. Just placement test at 4 p.m. here. If you haven't signed up for Korean language courses, but if you want to take Korean language courses, also come here by 4 p.m. Okay? And for those who have class in period one, go to your classroom now. The class will begin 10.30. You may find your classroom information on your blackboard, or if you go to uh, first floor, there's a big timetable, okay? And for those who have some spare time have, and have further inquiries, please come and visit our student support center, room 101 in this building, and our student assistant will be happy to help you with. And your ID card, your student ID card will be ready from 11 a.m. today. So if you wanna pick up your student ID card, you can come to our student support center, room 101, after 11 a.m. today, okay? Again, thank you for joining us today and enjoy the winter at Korea University International Winter Campus. Thank you.